things, guys. We have some really interesting news, and we're going to start with this because this is probably the best news I've had all day, and I've had some pretty good news. Um, by the way, we've played around with our OBS, um, so hopefully this works. We haven't tried it yet because doing tests is such a beta cuck thing, I suppose. But anyway, guys, <laughs> I am joined once again by Satellite Discontent. Say hello. Good morning, everyone. Hello. We're both here, and we're going to go through. we got five articles today because we can't decide to cut one, so let's just jump into it. Tommy Robinson, free on bail, will get a new trial. British activist Tommy Robinson was freed from prison on bail Wednesday after winning an appeal against the contempt of court charge. Tommy Robinson is free. Conviction of attempt of court in Leeds has been overturned. He has been released on bail with no conditions pending a retrial of the Leeds case. He is coming home thanks to everyone who supported Tommy. His official Facebook account posted on Wednesday. Lord Chef Justice Lord Barrett approved Tommy Robinson's appeal essentially because the process was flawed. We will get to that in a sec. So guys, uh, we are actually, we're both adding this to our videos as a little bit of an update uh, because we have found some more information. Obviously this is from Phil DeFranco, so thank you, Phil. Um, but the reasons why the court was, uh, the original contempt of court was overruled was because A, Tommy Robinson was given no time to set up a defense. B, there was no explanation on how actions could have prosecuted the jury. And three, the judge may have been biased in his actions. Um, so if you're actually wondering what was the actual reasons for the Oval Turner, of the contempt of court, they were the official reasons. He said, Bernard allowed Robinson to release on bail on the condition that he would not attend a rehearing, so that he would attend a rehearing, and that he would not come within 400 meters, or about 1,312 feet, of Leeds Court, where he was initially arrested for attempt of court. News of Robinson's release was trending worldwide on Twitter Wednesday as his arrest sparked outrage from conservatives and free speech activists. What? Outrage? We'll, we'll get to that in a sec. Um, his arrest was sparked outrage from conservative and free speech activists across the globe. The day after his arrest, May 25th, posts erupted around the world. Um... Okay, why would there be outrage from conservatives and free speech activists across the globe? Yeah, they were outraged when he was arrested. The arrest was the outrage. It said, news of Robinson's release was trending worldwide on Twitter Wednesday as his arrest... Ah, oh, yeah, okay, I get it now. Yep, cool. Yep. Yep, okay. Robinson, whose real name is something or rather, not going to say it because I don't want to dox him any more than he already has, and it's not important anyway, was arrested for recording outside a court, reporting on a trial involving a gang of four Muslim men accused of grooming and raping a teenaged girl. He was barred from reporting on the court under his prohibition after a previous contempt of court charge in 2017 and was charged with contempt of court again on May 25th. The judge in the most recent contempt of court charge barred British media from reporting on Robinson for five days after his conviction. He was sentenced to 13 months in prison. Um, I just want to say for the record that 13 months in prison was insanely long, but regardless. And the five days wasn't actually the complete truth here, Daily Caller. Uh, the fact is that he put a ban on Tommy Robinson, or the, the arrest of Tommy, and it was only after the rest of the world was talking about it, and it was already well known anyway, that they removed the court. They removed the bar. I don't think they had any intentions of removing it after five days. Um, I think it was supposed to be a permanent thing. But because the rest of the world got involved, they had no choice. Uh, while he was serving his two months in prison before being released, Robertson supporters worried Muslims would hurt and try to kill him, given his strict stance on immigration from Muslim-majority countries. 
Robinson's Facebook account posted that he had fun, he had a family holiday booked and paired for his Friday, which he can now go on and spend some much needed time with his wife and children. Okay, so we do also have a BBC article, which we'll get to in a sec, because I want to show both sides of this debate. Um, but first of all, mate, what's your views on all this? Yeah, <clears throat> so yeah, it, it, it is uh, interesting that he got bail. Mm -hmm. um, and I found that, um, I mean, I might be jumping ahead a little bit, you know, it, it's, it's pretty obvious that uh, his arrest was actually uh, illegal. Yeah. Yeah, it, his arrest was, you know, it was fake, um, fake reasons. Um, and I mean, it's really good to see that the public pressure put enough, um, put enough on the courts and mm. the court system to mm. actually give him bail. Mm. And uh, it was, it was also um, heartwarming to see his return to his family and, you know, his kids and everyone. Yeah. Um, so look, at the end of the day, I, I'm... I'm curious that they're saying that the uh, the original, or oh, sorry, the, the second court charge of contempt of court, what they say, it was flawed. Um, our understanding was, was the judge didn't actually watch the majority of the video that Tommy Robinson had uploaded. He only watched five minutes. Um, he was seen smiling and, and whatnot at the window when Tommy was arrested. Um, you know, there was a lot of, like, he wasn't allowed his own lawyer, um, the, when his lawyer asked where Tommy Robertson was reportedly, they said he had been released, which was a complete load of crap. He was actually in a court case, in a courtroom actually, and being tried with a public defender. So like his lawyer was literally asking, where's my client? And they're like, I oh, know your client's been released. And meanwhile, the whole time he's been tried in a kangaroo court. Like, yeah. Not allowing him his own lawyers, yeah. um, you know, all that sort of thing. It looks like it was set up from the get-go to just get him in prison. Yeah, or get him off the street, get him off reporting off this, yeah. and, this Muslim and grooming and game. Was, yeah, and that's exactly right. Mm. It, what he was reporting had to be stopped. Mm. Um, know, from their perspective, yeah. From yeah. their perspective, they had to shut him up. We, we also do have a video from Tommy Robertson, which we will play a bit of in a sec. Um, but before we jump into that, let's jump into the BBC. So Tommy Robinson bailed after court appeal win. Uh, former English Defence League EDL uh, leader Tommy Robinson has been released on bail after winning an appeal against the contempt of court findings. The 35-year-old admitted the charge was... Ja uh, so charge... Uh, admitted the charge and was jailed in May for filming outside a Leeds court case during the trial. At the Court of Appeal, Lord Chef Justice Lord Barrett ruled that the case to be reheard as he had been technically flaws by the judge who jailed him. Robertson solicitor said everyone has the right to a fair hearing. The far-right activist, he's not far-right, but regardless, from Luton, was not present for the ruling in London and was released from his 13-month sentence for being served at Oxenley Prison near Rigby just before uh, 3.30 BST, or British Standard Time. Speaking to reporters, Robinson said, All the British media do is lie. I have a lot to say, but nothing to you. Oh, that's interesting. Um, I want to thank the British public for their support. It wasn't just the British public, man. It was it was worldwide too. But regardless, uh, this is written judgment. Uh, Lord Barrett said we are so we are satisfied that the findings of the contempt contempt made in Leeds, following a fundamental flaw in the process, which we recognise were difficult and unusual circumstances, cannot stand. We will direct the matter to be reheard before a different judge. Robertson, whose real name is Blah will attend Oxley Bail for the hearing conducted by the Recorder of London as soon as they're reasonably possible. Um, but yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, yeah, it's just basically just going through the facts. It's a lot more biased. Uh, I'm, I'm biased than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a bit heavily weighted, but they've actually done a decent job on this. Look, they're still trying to murk the pools and stuff like that, but, but yeah. Um, yeah. But look, at the end of the day, at least the BBC seem to have given him, from what I've read anyway so far, without reading the whole thing, they seem to have given him a somewhat fair article, I suppose. 
Yeah, they just pepper in a bit of fire right here. Yeah. You know, kind of well, we, there, maybe. You we, know, expect, like that. we expect that, don't worry. Um, oh, yeah. But yeah, look, um, as for this, uh, look, yeah, I, I fully support him getting a fair trial. I, I really do. And. Uh, I mean, did he, what did he even do wrong anyway? Like, what well, is this trial even for? Like, that, yeah, that, that's what this trial will obviously go through. That, that he's claiming that, and I support obviously what he's saying here, the, the media that he, or the information he was already reporting on was already reported by the mainstream media. Yeah. So if you're going to lock Tommy up for that, then you need to lock up BBC and everybody else as well. Yeah, uh, this this whole situation is ridiculous. It's yeah. just, I kind of see it as uh, intimidation tactics, to be honest. Yeah, but at the very least, you know, the good thing is at least he's getting a retrial. That's the the very least we wanted, I suppose. Um, yeah. But at least we got that. And look, they, they go through the court and uh, and they get to prove their evidence. He gets his lawyers and everything like that. Then. Yeah, he, he should be fine. He should be fine and free. Um, I We do have the message that Tommy put up on, on his personal YouTube account. I will put a full link to the video description below. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll just play a little extract of it here. Um, obviously, guys, go and check out Tommy Robinson's video. So we'll put that in now. Home sweet home. I know I've got so many people I need to thank. So much I want to say. I've got loads to say, but... I feel anxious, I'm sure they are. I feel anxious and it's a bit strange, but I want to share this next moment with you. <laughs> Daddy! Guess who's coming on holiday? Daddy! Come here, come here. Come here. Sorry. From Sky News to BBC to Channel 4. And if they even knew the current mood of the country or understood the feeling, they'd see by the likes and the responses to their own media articles that the public don't buy it anymore. And that's it, that's just the thank yous and um, yeah, I just want to say thank you and I'm gonna go take two weeks now to just chill with my family, no mobile. What I want to say, when I come back in two weeks, I want every single one of you to join me as George is brilliantly going to put together, start to finish. I want to see what's been going on. I don't, I've only read little post-its here and there and messages. I want to watch from start to finish what happened from the minute I was taken off the street to the minute I got released. I want all of you to join me as I watch it. So I'll be seeing you all soon when I'm back. Thank you again. I can't express my gratitude enough. So guys, you, you hear there, you see the video, Tommy Robinson. Um, Look, at the end of the day, I'm glad he's released. It's the very least thing that we wanted, um, but at least it's a step in the right direction. Um, he's thin. Um, he's lost a lot of weight. I don't know if they weren't feeding him in prison. Um, this is something that a few people have talked about, um, so that is obviously concerning. I'd like to know what sort of treatment he got behind bars. Um, he says there's something in the video about them trying to break him mentally and stuff. That is obviously concerning as well. Um, but yeah, I, I like the fact he gets to go on a holiday for two weeks and he's going to go and spend it with his family and then we'll obviously we'll hear back from him after that. Um, but Sat, what, man, what are your thoughts? Do you, do you, what, yeah, what are your thoughts on this? Do you think he, um, he should be in jail? Do you think he should be out? Do you think he, he should be given a of fair course. trial? Yeah, yeah he, he should be given a fair trial. This should be thrown out of court. Mm. And um, I, if I was him, I would then turn around and sue them for all of the damages caused. Yeah, well, it'd be interesting if he could actually go through and do that. Um, if he could actually go through and sue them for false imprisonment. Although, he did admit to the charge initially, so I don't know if that would actually work. Um, mm, okay. But, yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, yeah, obviously, like I say, um, look, obviously, he said this in the video, but from me, guys, I'd like to thank everybody who's not only shared my video, but shared anybody's video regarding Tommy Robinson. Anybody that has gone through and kept pressure on the government for this all over the world. There were marches, there were protests everywhere. Uh, UK, Australia, America, everywhere. All the politicians, everybody that shared, retweeted, watched a video, anybody that turned up to the protests. Um, you know, even the people that, all the other creators that went through and have made videos about this. Um, 
just that overwhelming support is what I believe has actually allowed this to happen. Um, so from me, um, whoever whoever has done any of that uh, or more, thank you very much. Uh, and it's also something that Tommy says in the video as well. So yeah, um, congratulations to anybody who's, who's done that. Um, look, obviously, we'll keep you up to date regarding the retrial. Um, we'll obviously keep you up to date on any of the news that comes about this or anything else regarding this case. But apart from that, guys, let me know your thoughts are in the comment section below. Do you think that Tommy Robinson should be jailed? Do you think he should be set free? Or do you think he should get a retrial? Let me know your thoughts are in that comment section. If this video has been helpful, please smack a like. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, I'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great night and enjoy.